we've got some breaking news to bring you, and it's to do with the Prince of Wales. He has tested positive for coronavirus. Uh, we're told that he is displaying only mild symptoms, but otherwise remains in good health. That's according to Clarence House. So Prince Charles has tested positive for coronavirus. Um, mild symptoms, which is worth remembering. The scientists said, well, it feels like weeks ago now, it's probably only last week, that 80% of people who get coronavirus will only have mild symptoms. But uh, Prince Charles has obviously been tested uh, and he has tested positive for coronavirus. Uh, from memory, I think he's at Balmoral uh, with his wife. Uh, but the news just in, in the last couple of seconds, that uh, the heir to the throne, Prince Charles, has tested positive for COVID-19. We're told that he has mild symptoms, which is the good news. Most people will get mild symptoms, we're told, uh, if they have this illness. Uh, I think he was uh, up at Balmoral with his wife, um, but he has been tested and he has tested positive. Uh, we're hoping to talk to our royal correspondent, Sarah Campbell, any moment now. I'm looking on social media uh, at other sources. That is the only information that they have yet so far, that uh, Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, has been tested positive for coronavirus. His office says he's been displaying mild symptoms but otherwise remains in good health and has been working from home throughout the last few days as usual. Uh, Camilla ha has been tested. Clarence House, Clarence House says she does not have the virus. Uh, both Prince Charles and Camilla are self-isolating and they are at the Balmoral Estate, as I thought, in Scotland. It's not possible, says Prince Charles's office, it's not possible to ascertain from whom the prince caught the virus owing to the high number of engagements he carried out in his public role during recent weeks. That's slightly more alarming. Um, but yeah, Clarence House says it's not possible to ascertain from whom the prince caught the virus owing to the high number of engagements he carried out in his public role during recent weeks. Prince Charles has coronavirus. Camilla does not. They've both been tested. Uh, let's talk to Sarah Campbell, our royal correspondent. Uh, it's a bit of a surprise, this actually, isn't it, Sarah? Well, I mean, we the, literally the news has, uh, statement's just been released uh, from Clarence House. I can just read you what uh, Clarence House spokesman uh, has released, uh, saying the Prince of Wales has tested positive for coronavirus. He has been displaying mild symptoms, but otherwise remains in good health and has been working from home throughout the last few days as usual. The Duchess of Cornwall has also been tested, but does not have the virus. In accordance with government and medical advice, the Prince and the Duchess are now self-isolating at home in Scotland. Uh, the tests were carried out by the NHS in Aberdeenshire, where they met the criteria required for testing. Uh, it goes on, it's not possible to ascertain from whom the prince caught the virus owing to the high number of engagements he carried out in his public role during recent weeks. So just confirmation there from a Clarence House spokesman that the Prince of Wales has tested positive for coronavirus. The Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla, has also been tested, but she does not have the virus. So they are at the Balmoral Estate in Scotland. Where is the Queen right now? Uh, the Queen is, uh, she was moved to Windsor Castle. That was on Friday, I think, of last week. Uh, you'll remember the Duke of Edinburgh, uh, who has uh, been spending most of his time in the, on the Sandring Estate. He was also uh, uh, taken down to Windsor Castle. So our understanding is that both the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh are uh, in, effectively isolating uh, in Win <coughs> excuse me, in Windsor Castle. Uh, and we hear that the Duchess of Cornwall and the Prince of Wales are in Scotland, where they are now self-isolating. Because it does beg the question, has the Queen been tested? Well, it does beg the question, has the Queen been tested? I mean, as I say, this statement uh, has just been released. Um, we're expecting to get some more details uh, about this, uh, the, uh, the, the, the palace will give some more details because obviously 
both the Prince of Wales and Camilla, they're over 70. Of course, we know that the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh uh, are in their 90s, the Duke of Edinburgh 98. Um, so there will be a huge amount of concern um, that they, if they were to get COVID-19, that potentially they're, they're more susceptible to the, the, um, the, the more serious uh, complications that can come with the virus. So there will be a lot of concern around that. And I mean, it was last week, wasn't it, that um, it was announced that uh, the royal family were taking these steps, although they had been um, taking steps to protect themselves before that. We'd seen the Queen, for example, at an investiture wearing gloves, which she'd never done so before, but the, the decision was really taken last week in line with the national guidance that that, that wasn't really good enough, that actually this, you know, um, that the, the meetings had to stop. Because, of course, what does the Queen, what does the Prince of Wales do? They go and meet people. That's their job, is to go out and to be seen and to meet people. And, of course, that had to stop. And now we know that the Prince of Wales has tested positive for the virus. Right. It's worth, re it's worth reiterating again from that statement that he has been displaying mild symptoms and otherwise remains in good health. And the statement says he has been working from home throughout the last few days, as usual. And to reiterate, the Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla, has also been tested that she does not have the virus. And they're staying at Balmoral. The Queen, meanwhile, is at Windsor Castle. Do you know, are you clear, Sarah, when Prince Charles stopped um, undertaking his public duties? Because in the statement it says they're not sure where he picked this up from because he's had, you know, a, a high number of engagements in the last few weeks. When did he actually yeah. stop those engagements? Because we know that there is a five-day incubation period for displaying symptoms for coronavirus. We do know that. It's a really good question. Um, and I'll have to go and find out exactly what the answer to that question is. I mean, certainly, uh, Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, um, from memory, she attended Cheltenham races. So I think that was the week before last. So as far as I'm aware, that's the last time that she was out um, somewhere uh, public. Um, so they have been engaged. I mean, they were due to go on a, on their spring tour, and that was that was cancelled. So they didn't, in fact, uh, didn't in fact go away. Uh, but he was, uh, he, you know, he has he has been out and about. And certainly, as I say, it was sort of really last week the decision was taken not to go out and about. But I will have to look back and see the when was the last time mm -hmm. that they actually um, made a, a public engagement. It's not clear when he was tested or when he started to show symptoms. Uh, as I say, this statement from Clarence House um, does say that he's been working from home throughout the last few days as usual. So that does suggest that he was tested perhaps more than a few days ago if he's been self-isolating um, since then. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I wouldn't want to guess. We're hoping to get sure. some more information from Clarence House, from Buckingham Palace, about exactly where he's been, who he's been seeing, yeah. whether, as you say, that important question, you know, what? has he seen the Queen? I mean, I can tell you there are pictures on social media of an event, a Prince's Trust event that he was at a, a few days ago with people like Anton Deck, uh, with Pierce Brosnan. They weren't okay. shaking hands. Uh, I suppose that's the good news. Um, they weren't shaking hands, but they were, you know, they were, they were within two metres of each other. Yeah. Uh, so, and, and, and that would be the norm for, for the kind of engagements he's been carrying out for the past few weeks. Well, exactly. I mean, it's been a... You know, it's, it's been a, a balancing act for them as for everyone else in that, you know, when, when the royal family do anything, then it sends a strong statement. So going into self-isolation sends a strong statement. And I think everyone was reluctant to do that until it would have been um, a sensible thing to do and something that wouldn't have caused adverse panic. But, of course, everything with coronavirus has changed so dramatically over the last two weeks, um, you know, that things that were that, that they were perhaps doing would now be completely unthinkable. So, you know, like you say, them at, a, at an event with Anton Deck now would be completely unthinkable, but we don't know at what point yet he actually picked up the virus. Um, I'm sure that uh, hopefully we'll find out those details.